to Gallagher123123 back with something that I am actually very excited about. So this past week, Google announced that Apple Music was coming to the Google Home and Nest speaker range. And sure enough, it has. It took a few days to roll out, at least for me, but I finally have it. So I wanted to do a video, quick tutorial on how to set it up and a demonstration of how it works. So again, this rolled out, or started rolling out the week of December 7th, and I got it on Wednesday the 9th. So hopefully it's rolled out to all of you who are in the supported countries, which I don't have off the top of my head right now, but I'll go ahead and throw those in the description so you can check to make sure that your country is on the list. But again, I do have it and I want to show how to set it up and to give a quick demonstration of how it works. And for this demonstration, I am using my Google Home Mini, which is right there. And I'm going to demonstrate the setup on this iPhone XR, of course, running voiceover. So that said, let's get into it. Okay, I just went ahead and unlocked my phone. Overcast. A blue screen with nothing else on it. And I'll go ahead and tell Siri to open Google Home. Add button. Okay, so now that the app has launched. If we go ahead and flip to the right. Sign in as none is out. Dismiss button. We should come to. Connect I wrote. Dismiss. Dismiss. Link. 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 Eventually Dismiss. there's some Media. stuff Podcast. for me. Button. Routines. But settings. Button. There it is. We want to come to settings and I'll double tap. Close button. And on the screen, for me it's towards the bottom, so I'm just going to use explore by touch. Radio. Radio. Uh, music. Music. There's music, so it's music is what we're looking for. So I'm going to double tap on this. Close button. Music. Menu. Close but Close button. Your music sir, the assistant will use your default music provider when asked to play music. You can still play music using all other link providers when specified. So you can choose your default provider. And at the bottom of the screen, you will see... More music services. Or kind of in the middle, you'll see a thing that says more music services. And in this list, you will find Apple Music. Now, I've already gone ahead and linked my Apple Music account. Spotify, free service so I just have Spotify, Pandora, free Pandora Deezer, 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 and Deezer. Not but if I go up YouTube, here to, your music to my music services... YouTube Music, YouTube Music Premium Subscription Active, selected. You'll see I have YouTube Music, because I do currently have a trial of YouTube Premium. Apple Music, subscription account, not selected. Apple Music. Unlink button. Which I could unlink there. No default, use other accounts preferences on or say devices, no default. Not I'm going to select Un Apple, Apple Music, because that's YouTube what I music, want as my YouTube, default. Apple Music, subscription account, not selected. But, so I'll... Slash M slash zero one, Apple Music is your default music provider. Apple Music, subscription account, selected. So I've selected Apple Music Close as my button. default. Now, when you link it, and it will be, again, under this music services. more music services heading, um, when you link, when you go to link it, again, you'll, of course, be asked for your Apple ID and password and be asked to give it permission, Google permission, to access your Apple Music. So that's all pretty standardized. Okay, but then once you have it and you have it set as your default, which we now do, it's time to give this a shot. So I'm going to do three demonstrations here. First, I'm going to show it playing a playlist. So if you've done a ton Character. of work like I have, I just exited home. that up, um, put this off to the side. If you've done a lot of work making playlists in Apple Music, you can play them on your Google slash Nest speaker. So I'm going to show that first. Now the voice I am using, by the way, for the Google Assistant is the British female. So that's what you're hearing in case you are curious. All right, so I'm going to first ask her to play one of my playlists. And since it is Christmas time when I do this, I'm going to ask her to play my Boston Pops Christmas favorites, which in my opinion is some of the best Christmas music out there. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. Hey Google, play playlist Boston Pops Christmas Favorites. 
Okay, your Apple Music playlist called Boston Pops Christmas Favorites. Here you go. Hey Google, stop. 4.40 p.m., one notification. 4.41 p.m., one notification. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so I very quickly did stop it because copyright reasons, but it did start to play as you heard there. Second, we'll try playing a playlist that has tracks that I uploaded because I do want to show that this works. Now, unfortunately, from what I can tell, this is the real easiest way to play tracks that are not in the Apple Music catalog because it does not seem to work if you just ask it to play like an album or a song that you don't have there. Okay, so let's try playing this playlist. I'm going to ask it to do this. Hey, Google. Play playlist, music is our vision, choral performances. Okay, your Apple Music playlist called Music is our vision, choral performances. Here you go. Hey Google, stop. Okay, so that did work. And for those wondering, that's a music festival of schools for the blind, which I've had the pleasure of participating in. While, at, while I was a student at Perkins. Um, okay, so now we'll try an album. And we're going to use for this the typical album that we tend to test with, which is A State of Mind by Andre Louis. Go ahead and check his stuff out. I actually use his music for the intro and outro for most of my videos, so highly recommend checking his stuff out. Hey Google, play album A State of Mind by Andre Louis. Playing the album A State of Mind on Apple Music. Okay, it's playing now. And really quickly, I want to demonstrate that you can find out what's playing. Hey Google, what song is this? You're listening to A Ticket to Quietness by Andre Louis. I've sent more info about this song to your phone. Hey Google, stop. Okay, there's that. And we can verify that I did get a notification. 4.43 p.m. Two no try again. Assistant, now you were listening to A Ticket to Quietness by Andre Louis. Button. Okay. And finally, I will demonstrate just playing a song to show that that works. Hey Google, play It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year by Andy Williams. It's the most wonderful time of the year by Andy Williams, sure. Playing on Apple Music. Hey Google, stop. Again, sorry for stopping these so quickly, but I just wanted to show that this works and don't really want copyright violation, so. All right, I think that concludes this demonstration of using Apple Music with Google Home and Nest Audio devices. I am really, I was super excited when I learned that this was coming. In fact, it was one of the big things I've wanted since it came to Alexa two years ago. Cancel. And this works, you know, pretty much very similar way. However, I have noticed a few things. Shuffle, shuffle mode works so much better on the Google Home. It does a much better job shuffling. Like, I feel like when I listen on the Echo and I have a playlist shuffled, it just barely shuffles. Like, I'll play the first song, then number three, then number two, then maybe five, four. Like, when I shuffle, I want to hear, you know, something towards the bottom of the playlist, maybe that I don't get to hear as often, like song number 55. And that's what the Echo just doesn't do when shuffling. And that's one of my little frustrations with it. But the Google Home does not seem to have that problem and it shuffles exactly as I would expect. So I actually like the experience on here slightly better. But yeah, so again, just real quick to link this, you can go to your Google Home app and go over to settings, music, 
and there'll be a list of music services and, and you can link your Apple Music from there, enter in your Apple ID information and allow the Google Home to access that service. So it's a pretty straightforward process, but I did want to demonstrate Apple Music integration for you because it's something I think is super cool. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful and I will see you in the next video. We hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe for more and feel free to comment. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at Gallagher123123. Thank you for watching and we will see you soon.